greetings. It's been another month or so, and there's more stuff to unbox that you have sent me. Maybe not you in particular, but you know who you are. So let's go ahead and unbox this stuff. First up here is a package from Chad. It's quite large. Uh, hello, Clint. Here's some old keyboards and a couple other random things. And keep up the good work. And, uh, well, thank you. I feel blessed to have viewers like you. Okay, we've got a three and a half inch uh, disc holder. Looks pretty new, actually. What is this? Oh my goodness, that is a substantial KVM. That is awesome. I was actually <laughs> recently looking online for a good one of these. It uh, doesn't look like it actually switches sound, but uh, that's okay. It switches friggin' AT and PS2 keyboards. That is super cool. Wow. That is a cool logo to see. What? Wow, that has yellowed to oblivion, but check that out. That is pristine. Not clicky, but it is an awesome, clean keyboard. Yeah, there, there's proof right there that it doesn't need to even be exposed to, like, sunlight or smoke or anything. Still smells like, you know, new, really, but it's just yellowed because some plastic just yellows no matter what. Hmm. Looks like another keyboard here. Whoa! That is a clicky keyboard. I'm not more sure what kind of switches. They almost feel like Alps. Um, this is an NEC APC H412. I'll have to check to see what kind of switches they have. Oh, that is super cool. Another keyboard. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, that is really neat. I don't know what kind of switches those are, but they feel nice. Not as, uh, as clicky, but very responsive. I love that tray on top. That is insanely cool. Never had a keyboard like that. And another keyboard. This is just... Wow, a Wang keyboard. Mm, that is very gummy, but uh, dude, what a keyboard. Holy crap, look at that. It's got speakers. I think this is a terminal keyboard. Yeah, it's got to be with this connection here. Very yellow, but RetroBright will fix that up. And woo, hey, there's a couple of uh, mouse systems mice. Very awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Next up, I got some small packages. First one here is from Russ W. Oh, hey, okay. So who's Dr. Rabbit? A Colgate virtual mystery CD-ROM at Global Oral Health Initiative. Well, that is purely bizarre. Thank you very much. <laughs> this one here from Selenia Wood. I think this is, this is like some, I don't know, something a company sent. Oh, yeah, okay. This is the, um... This is the VR cover people. They make all sorts of awesome accessories. At least I hope they're awesome. Um, for different VR headsets. And uh, I saw I did, you know, some videos on the Vive. They're like, hey, you want to try some of these out? Yeah, I do. Because that Vive, like the foam on there, is disgusting after like a year of use. So thank you very much. Okay, I got one here from Debbie. Uh, this is an eBay thing. Somebody bought me something from eBay, I guess. Or well, maybe it's not from a Debbie. Uh, whoever sent this, <laughs> thank you. Building cars. That is interesting. That's down my alley. Looks like something for kids. Got one here from Johnny. Okay, well, I'm trying to cover up like addresses and stuff, but check this out. This is made to look like... <laughs> A sort of new egg.com style invoice uh, he calls old egg. <laughs> we have deeply apologized for the delay in shipments. This item has been out of stock for the last 27 years. I mean, seriously, look, it went all out, even with the like a, a faux return warranty. This is okay. I understand the box now. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is friggin' cool. Wow. I'm only like very barely familiar with this. Like, is this is like pre imagination network. It looks like this is a Tandy product, Sierra online thing. Holy crap, that is cool. All right, well, Johnny, that is amazing. You not only went out with all the paperwork, but this, that is, that is an amazing collectible. It's like, it's, I mean, it is brand new. Thank you. This one here is from E, <laughs> just, just E. Uh, LGR, Clint. Oh, I guess it's from Eric. Uh, hey, a dude sent you the weird post-it note software. Oh, yeah, thanks for that. Just actually put that on a shelf again the other day. Uh, oh, how cute. That's like the perfect little thingy to put up in my kitchen. It's a little radio made, uh, made like, shaped like a computer, like an AT clone. Yeah, the one I have is much smaller and does not have a mouse. <laughs> that is super neat. Oh, 
Okay. It's just gonna keep going. Wow. It's one of my favorite things indeed. Uh, thank you very much. I like that Y2K compatible there. That's just gonna keep going, I guess. Hmm. Webster's Pocket Computer Dictionary. I have seen these around at Goodwills, but never one in this nice of shape, so I've never picked one up. What? Magitronic Computer's version of MS-DOS 5. I guess that box will go back together. I like these OEM versions of DOS. I have quite a few for different systems, you know, Epson and Leading Edge and Amstrad and whatnot. This is how Microsoft made their friggin' billions, is licensing this out to other companies. And of course selling it directly, but yeah, these like branded by an actual original equipment manufacturer are pretty cool. Thank you very much. This is a really cool box. All right, here's one from Joni. Johnny, J-O-N-I. It is from Finland. F secure. This is a package of floppy disks and stuff. Well, I approve of that. What the heck? Uh, oddware. I don't know what this is, but it's got sensors and stuff. So I'm guessing like this and maybe the sensor um, detects where things are. Oh, here's a, here's a manual arrow point. Enables position tracking in free space. Dang, that is all futuristic and crap. For, for what, DOS 3 and Windows 3? That's pretty amazing. Hmm. And also a copy of Star Trek Omnipedia. I will take it. Oh man, totally missed the note. <laughs> uh, hi Clint. Oh, well, this would have answered my question. Here's the Creative Arrow Point 3D mouse. I hope it still works and the parts are there. <laughs> or just send you a pile of junk. Yeah, that's very possible. I get a lot of junk. Um, sometimes people, you know, it's always well-meaning, but... Um, a lot of stuff that I get ends up not working or it's incomplete. But either way, that is fantastic and all the way from friggin' Finland. So uh, thank you very much. <laughs> you tried to find packing peanuts to tease you but was unable to. Oh, they don't have packing peanuts where you are. Well, good. This is from Bakef Communications. All right, well, there's no notes. Uh, That's a friggin' Cherry keyboard. Yeah, come to think of it, Cherry did send me an email a while back. I had completely forgotten. Or somebody representing them saying, oh, we'll send you a sample keyboard if you want. And I'm like, sure, why not? Well, right away, that feels absolutely cheap, I, I swear. I'll be honest, this looks a bit like a piece of crap. But uh, thank you, um, presumably somebody representing Cherry. Here's one from S. Raposa. Oh my. This is stuff I've never heard of. Evaluation copy, even. Juilliard Music Adventure. From the Millie's Math House people. Oh, Bumps Science Carnival. Snoots Math Trek. Well, they like Z's, don't they? It's like Mad Cats. Mm, no Z here, so it's just called Hollywood. <laughs> just, just Hollywood. What the heck is that? Free Palm Man action figure. This is a whole realm of things I didn't know I needed in my life. And lastly, Hollywood High. Um, okay. Uh, the Disc Pack by Ed Tech. What? The Apple User Group Connection videotape. April 1988. You know, this somehow seems like a collectible thing. I gotta digitize this if it's not already. I'll be sure to rewind as well, 1988 person who made this package. There we go, Clint. Here are the first three boxes of Apple stuff I told you about. Like I said in our email, the woman I bought it from used to work at Apple. Dang! That's really cool. Okay, so this explains the evaluation stuff. I do remember this, Sam. Um, you, uh, yeah, there was like a ton of different things and he was just like, all right. So yeah, that pickup, very much worth checking out. Thank you. Well, there's my refrigerator turning on and here is a package from Justin. Hmm, what does it say? Open other side, please. Oh, I guess I will. LGR, my PC build attempt with this card went bust, but I don't think it was the card. Hope you have luck with this 5,500. My goodness. Whoa! I'm looking at that. That is a sight to behold. A Voodoo 5, 5500 AGP, 64 meg. Oh, I cannot tell you how much. I went to Best Buy and lusted over this thing in the year 2000. I love that screenshot of Halo. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, absolutely incredible. Thank you very much for sending this, sir. Hey, look, it's another box from... Uh, Crap. Anyway, it's another box from Sam, I I think. Here are the first three box. Oh, okay, first three. Yes, I guess there's another one in here somewhere. Uh, uh, well, this I am pretty sure is gonna be a gold mine. Dueling Knights demo copy by Broderbund. Dealer demo, goodness. A Christmas 
Adventure. Whoa, from Bit Cards Incorporated? Is this like a jingle disc competitor? Oh my goodness, this is... I gotta... I gotta be careful with this stuff. Oh my goodness. This is an AOL t-shirt? Having a great time, wish you were here. Man, that is the truth. AOL back in the day was like going on a vacation in your computer screen to cyberspace. Oh, holy nuts. That's an E-World uh, shirt here. Apple's sort of thing. It was all online stuff that did not work out. Covered that in my AOL retrospective tech tales. Eagle Brothers software stickers, E-World stickers, <laughs> Apple Newton stickers. Okay, uh, genuine collectibles. This stuff is going to be... <laughs> okay, the, the, yeah, I was going to say it's going to be very well taken care of. I don't know about this one, but no, I'm just kidding. Wherever it ends up, I want to get this stuff out there and shared and preserved. A review copy of Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego for the Mac. Claris Mac Paint demo, not for resale. Maybe that can go back together here. Sort of came apart inside the box. Where in Europe is Carmen San Diego? That is interesting. I've never actually played this one. The Hobbit. That's super cool. And it has the Hobbit book. Really awesome box and a really neat game. Sim Earth, is this a... Yeah, it's a review copy. I actually do have a review copy of this one and a lot of Maxis games. I'm not sure why. Still, that's really cool. I've never seen this particular review copy sticker. All right. Got another box here from Jeff. Something tells me the box art won't live up to the game. Well, that's always a good sign. Greetings. Hi. Mmm, love the show. We got this while thrifting. Inspired. Uh, next time you in Idaho, beers on me. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that is fantastic box art. Wow. It's like Mr. Bean trapped inside of a tube. Very authentic stock trading, I'm sure. That is um, supremely boring looking. I love this kind of software. I've actually got a few stock trading games. Wish I had the hardware to go with this. Hmm. I just say I love when people wrap things up like this. It's such a cool touch. Okay, what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Cyber Max. More than a gigabyte of valuable VR software. For what? I guess for the Cybermax, that's a VR headset that I have never even come across. Yeah, it's just, it's a giant book with some software. <laughs> Computers, those amazing machines. Books for World Explorers, National Geographic Society. Oh man, that's cool. Oh, goes up to 1984. That's like, nobody needs to know anything about computers after that. What's on the other side? And check the other side. All right, well, that's just a cool, like, Trippy butterfly, dude. Butterfly in the sky. Oh, it's in a book. Thank you very much. This is such a cool thing. And last, but certainly not least here, is the, I guess, third package that was sent with the Apple stuff. Thank you, Sam, once again. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm not dreaming. That's a sealed number, munchers. MacWrite 2 promo copy. That's the reading pin. Hear words and definitions spoken aloud. Optically reads words, I guess. Computerize. Hey! You know what? I ran across one of these in Goodwill not too long ago, and it didn't have anything in there. This one is sealed. Yeah, whoop. This is like a, it's a digitizer, obviously, for uh, Apple 2GS computers. It's a little uh, card and some software. Hmm, Claris. MacDraw 2. Battle in Normandy. That is neat. Love me some war games. And this one looks... That looks to be a rarity. Made in Australia. Hmm. I've never heard of it, and that is awesome. This is a lot of mech games here. We got Word Munchers, uh, Spell Evader, several copies of Number Munchers, another copy of Word Munchers, and some... What is this? A promo copy of Mac OS 8? Let's see here. Drug Alert. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm, some War on Drugs uh, memorabilia. Oh, man, that makes me want to do drugs. Help children say no to drugs. That is phenomenal. 1988? No, 86. And lastly, the fingerprint. There's a little fingerprint on a stick. Fingerprint GSI is a graphic utility card allows you to freeze any program and instantly capture and dump screens. So it's a print screen. It's, it's a screenshot taker. Don't tell me that's the button. You know, I am... I am genuinely intrigued. Although these kind of things, I'm not sure if I'm gonna open them. I mean, typically I don't have a problem like opening sealed old computer things, but these like coming from the source that they did, 
I would sooner give this to a museum or something. In fact, all of this Apple stuff, <laughs> well, a lot of it anyway, might end up in a museum or something. Uh, I'm, I'm going to look around and, and see what happens. All right, so here is sort of an overview of what I got. It, honestly, it's not even everything. There's a bunch of keyboards and other little things that were just sort of, um, they're over there still. But this is what I could kind of get in frame at the moment. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much to everyone once again. I'm going to uh, go ahead and start cataloging this and sorting it and getting it displayed and protected and all the things that I like to do to old stuff. Still not sure about that MS-DOS sticker, <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, this is awesome. Thank you very much to everyone. You're super generous and uh, stay tuned. More LGR coming soon.